Today, I'm going to teach you how to sound like Tom Brooks with this particular chord that is used on many songs, such as For the Lord is Good by Ron Canoli. Uh, the name of this chord is a dominant 13 sharp 11 chord. Why is it that Tom Brooks sounds the way he does? Um, back in the, the 80s and 90s, it was quite revolutionary in CCM music, um, and we don't hear much of it today in today's worship. Um, but this chord is definitely one of the components um, that that bring his arrangements and his keyboard playing to life. I'm going to show you how to play this chord and where to play this chord, or where Tom Brooks tends to play it. So let's learn the chord first, and then we can give you some examples of how this gets played. So we're going to take a, uh, a bass note. In this case, it's going to be an A. And then the way we're going to form the 13 sharp 11 chord is we're going to take the flat 7 of the A, which is a G. And then with that G, we're going to create a major 7. But we're not finished yet. Then what we're going to do, we're going to take this D and we're going to flat it. And we're going to sharpen it. So the way I think of this, um, which probably is not grammatically correct, but it's just the easy way I remember it, is a G major 7 with a flatted 5th and a sharpened 5th over an A. So G over A, but, but the, the, the G chord is a G major 7 with a flatted 5th and a sharpened 5th. Um, so to give you an example of where this would work, Tom plays it in For the Lord is Good. So let's just play that. And then he plays the chord. To get to the G sharp minus seven. So the reason this works is um, that it, it creates a nice passing chord, passing tone, whatever you want to call it, into the, um, the chord of semitone below. So instead of going... nice way to do it but Tom creates tension by putting a passing chord in between each of those intervals so um, we start with the A major 7 then we have another one here and the passing chord is a G to get to the F sharp so there we've got exactly the same formula a G take the flat 7 create a major 7 Flat the fifth, sharp the fifth. There we go. Okay, that tends to be the way he, he plays the um, 13 sharp 11. But not just in that inversion, um, there's other places where he plays it in a different uh, inversion. So if we take um, a song from Jesus is Alive called Keeper of My Heart. tone to get to the uh, D sharp minus 7 but if we look at what we're actually playing so we've got an E in the right hand which is the, the, the passing bass note and then we want the flat 7th and then we want to create a major 7 flat the 5th sharp the 5th but now if we take the C sharp and put it there take the B flat and put it there or A sharp and take the G sharp and put it there it's exactly the same chord just a different inversion and so on and so on so I hope that helps you to um, maybe put some of these chords in your own playing 
Um, it could also be used to, to uh, resolve to a major chord. So if we play G11, yeah, so what I did there was I played a G11 and then I'm aiming for a C, C major. But to get to that, I'm taking a half step above, creating a major seven from the flat seven, flat the fifth, sharp the fifth. And there we go, 13 sharp 11 chord.